So in today's video, I would love to share with you 13 free zero waste essentials. So before I start this video, I would love to tell you that most of the things I'm going to mention today that you already have at home and you're just going to use them in a zero waste way or some type of habits or maybe some little details that we need to be conscious about just on a daily basis. So it's going to be a very good addition to our zero waste journey. So the first thing that just bumped in my mind when I was trying to think of a free essentials for our zero waste, how can we repurpose certain things in our home that we already have, is for example, when you have some leftovers and you want this bowl to be covered, instead of using plastic wrap or foil or bee wax wrap, you can simply just use um, saws plate or just maybe like any other plate you have around the house and it actually works very well. I mean, my family, their entire life, my grandparents, my mom, my parents, they use, they don't have any plastic wrap just because, you know, you can use your plate and that's a simple, it's reusable and you don't need to get extra stuff to get your food covered. Another essential that is totally free and you probably have it in your home and can use it are mason jars or any type of glass jars. Most of us buy food, at least we try to do our best to buy food in glass containers. So it means that we have a lot of glass jars. So why would we buy something that we already have? just doesn't make sense. And then another thing that I wanted to mention here is that I still have a lot of plastic bottles in my home just because I used to use shampoo, for example, in um, a plastic bottle. So what I actually do today, I don't recycle those bottles. I just keep them in a box where um, anytime I'm, for example, doing my DIYs and I need a bottle, I just take it out of that box that I have, like a storage of old containers. And it's actually very handy because every time I'm looking for any type of jar or bottle, I have it. So I don't need to buy it. Another essential that I feel like most of the zero waste beginners buy, but you don't actually need to buy, is a cutlery set. I have two. I bought it as a part of my on-the-go essentials and it's very nice to have them because they are very lightweight and they come in this wrap. But actually, you don't have to buy a cutlery set. You just can use and reuse your forks and knives that you already have at home just by putting in any kind of produce bag that you have or maybe just wrapping it in a um, napkin. Uh, reusable napkin and then yes you are good to go paper towels is something that we're trying to avoid on a daily basis to use but actually we have paper towels just in case of kind of uh, like oil spills or kids getting extra something dirty then I still have some paper towels but on my regular daily basis uh, we are trying to do our best to use our reusable napkins and you don't actually need to buy those napkins you can just repurpose for example some old bed sheet you just can cut in pieces and then perfect napkins to dry your hands after you wash it in the kitchen another essential that i really believe that all of us i mean I don't know if all of us, but I think most of us do have. So that's why I would consider it to be free, not just because after this video you need to go and shop and buy this particular thing. So it's coconut oil. I think coconut oil is the most versatile essential of your life, basically. Just because coconut oil, for example, what ways I use coconut oil? I use coconut oil as body moisturizer i use coconut oil as my lip balm i use my coconut oil as my uh, hair mask i use my coconut oil as my eye makeup remover i really use it it's it's fantastic it's really really good at it i clean my eyebrows with it and actually i think that 
my eyebrows and my eyelashes are kind of saying thank you because I'm not putting anything of a chemical thing on it. I just um, nourish my um, face hair with coconut oil. Another zero waste essentials that I really believe that most of us have at home and we don't need to purchase it as extra for our zero waste journey are baking soda, vinegar and lemons. I feel like most of us have these things at home. So why don't we use this as a cleaning product and we don't need to buy anything extra. So now from the products, we're gonna move on to some habits or some little details of our daily life just to keep in mind to go more zero waste. When you're brushing your teeth, please shut down that water just because it's a waste of water. It's so sad to think of how much water we waste daily, our family is wasting daily while we're brushing our teeth and the water is running. Another little detail to keep in mind while you're starting or maybe doing your zero waste journey is to keep this little note while you're ordering food to go or for delivery that you don't need any plasticware or napkins. So I know that most of the time when we get our food delivery, we will get that plastic, but just avoid by avoiding this little plastic as plastic wear, it's already a big thing to do. It's totally okay to order your food and sometimes we do that. But most of the time we should really start eating the wholesome foods, like fruits and vegetables and, and preferably by doing plastic free grocery shopping, that would be amazing. I just feel like we need to go back to basics at certain things. And then if we go back to basics this way, we're definitely going to leave our zero waste lifestyle much more easy. Another little thing just to keep in mind is when, for example, you're traveling, just trying to say no to some little things that are on your way. When you travel and the airlines provide you single-use eye mask or single-use slippers or, you know, something else that, you know, every airlines are different, that just trying to think of that ahead and bring reusable things that you might need in the plane uh, with you. So in this way, we're going to reduce so much plastic consumption in the world. Especially when I got kids, I really understood that you can't do anything perfect and you can't plan everything until, you know, really every little detail. It's impossible because there are so many things that can happen on the way. But just if you know that you are traveling and you're going to be there and you can't sleep without sleeping mask, just bring your own instead of taking the uh, plastic, the single used one. Another thing is when you are in the meetings or in the conference and usually um, most of the conference, I mean, go through the procedure when they're giving out the pens and then or some types of cards or little notebooks that you actually not going to use and you know that you're not going to use that and you're just taking it as a being polite to the person giving to you, then maybe it's very important to learn how to say no in a polite way. Another very big and very important essential, habit essential that we need to keep in mind is simple as that, just buy less. <laughs> it's everything is said in this expression, buy less is meaning that we actually don't need so many things that we have and then so many things end up in the landfill just because we thought we need but we actually don't need or we have something very similar or maybe we can avoid that by using another things and then maybe we're not gonna like it in, in, in a month and then, you know, just buy less. And if you really decided that you need to buy and you really need certain things, uh, just keep in mind that thrift shopping is really big and most of the time you can find things in a pristine condition that people are just not using. So it's very good for the environment and that it's very good for your pocket. So really, I'm not buying anything new in terms of, for example, my cameras. 
I never buy a new camera just because there are so many that people are not using. They are buying it new and then they resell it. So Marketplace, Porschmark, eBay, ThreadUp, there are so many. Just keep it as a habit. So before you buy an actual store, just trying to look for something secondhand. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you will get the notification when the next video is gonna come up. And yes, I will see you in the next videos and...